Easy Canetti Motors. What'd you say? All right, I guess. Jeez. I kind of got um, seven hours to go. But what do you mean? I wanted a job in the film, right? So how's Erica? Beautiful, what time? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Could you make it noon? Mm. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll try. All right. 
Sí. Seven seconds. I'm counting down. A real short timer. I'm so short, this is going to be my last cigarette in this joint. I asked you to get to me. Yeah, everything's at the house. My mother's got a feast for you. We got pasta, scungi. Right, Victoria, got... I want to make a stop before we go. Yeah, where to? I want to go to the cemetery to see where my mother and my brother are. Right? Sure. You know, my day is yours.
Yeah. There they are, Vito. First two under the tree. I know I promised to take care of him. Death must have been a great pain to you. Sammy. Sammy. I stand here, but I don't believe it. 25 years old. Some 30 bastard snuffs your life out. I swear to you, my brother. I swear to God to you. <laughs> I'll find out who did it, Sammy. And I'll kill him with my own hand. Nicoletti graves over there. Do you take care of them? Nicoletti? Yes. They had nice funerals. Simple, but nice. My brother's got some flowers on his grave. You know who put them there? Some woman. She comes every week. You know who she is? No. But just like clockwork, she comes every Thursday morning for years. She's pretty, young, and a little gaudy. Look, I'd appreciate it if uh, you didn't say anything to anybody about this. Memory is not kind to old men. Good day. You're finished now, Vito. Let's go home and eat. We gotta make another stop. Is Father Testa still around? Yeah, at the old church. We'll go there first. for an Italian father. The old neighborhood has changed. Hey, well, most of the old gang is gone. And uh, huh, your mother. I never did thank you for taking care of the funeral. Uh, her last words were about uh, you and your brother Sammy. The old house, it's gone too. Yeah, there was no one else left. I mean, you were gone and I could get for selling what was in your mother's apartment. It's yours. This was uh, Sammy's. A man's whole life in a cardboard box. I, 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 I know you, you can't forget what happened to him. Vito, some things are better forgotten. I would tell my brother not to forget. Not till I get some answers. <laughs> what? 
these are things that your mother wanted you to have. Papa's last gift to Sammy. He must have been three years old. This is his favorite toy. He used to sit in that chair and shake it all night, making such a racket. They were beautiful together, Mama and Sammy. Just beautiful. I was supposed to look out for him. Sammy died for you. It's best to leave the dead buried. You don't understand, Father. It's not for me. It's for Mama. I let her down. So what will you do if you find the murderer? Will you kill? Do you realize that in doing so that you're going to condemn your soul to everlasting hell? I pray to God that you fail yourself. I pray to God there is a God. Are you Erica Moore? I am. Please excuse me. My name is Vito Nicoletti. My brother was Sammy Nicoletti. I believe that you knew him. Yes, I did. I was wondering if you could spare me a few moments of your time. Well, I don't know. Look, I waited ten years to talk to you. Please sit down. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I really don't know how to begin. You see, when Sammy was killed, I was in prison. I just got out this morning, and I just wanted to get around to see some of his old friends. I think I understand. You'd like to get closer to the memory of your brother through his friends, is that it? Yeah, yeah. That's it exactly. You got a nice way of putting things. It's my job. I work in publishing. That's what this office is for. It's very interesting. Anyway, Mrs. Moore, the last letter I got from my brother, he said he was going up to your house for the weekend. Three days later, he was killed. And since you were one of the last people to see him alive, I was hoping that, for, for personal reasons, you know, if you could tell me something about his last few days. People liked Sammy. He was very personable and intelligent. I remember the day we drove up to the house. Sammy was reading a film theory book. What you reading? What? The book. How's your job? A drag. I hear you're working again. Yep. I'm doing a translation of Celine's Don Chateau Lord. Doesn't feel like we're doing 70, does it? You want the top off? No, that's all right. When we got to the house, our neighbors had prepared a surprise party for Andrew and me. Sam was so shy, he stayed in his room. Sam? Come on out. Right.
get the dolly? What? I sprained my ankle last winter. We just forgot to return it. Look very good. Thank you. you got some place here. I think it's too big. I broke Andrew up last Sunday. When we woke up, I picked up the telephone and I said, Hello? Room service? <laughs> no. Come on, let me introduce you. Oh, can I wait? Come on! Please. How about when they're leaving? Huh? <laughs> All right. I wanted to introduce him to the guests, but Sam wouldn't mix, preferring to stay in that wheelchair playing the cripple. What a little boy. He even pretended to limp when he met Carol. That's Andrew's wife now, you knew that. No, I didn't. Was that the first time that you met this Carol? Yes. Well, no to be precise. I saw her briefly once before. What was that? Earlier, on the way to the house, Andrew stopped for cigarettes at a gas station. Excuse me, cigarette machine? Right inside, sir. Carol was in a sports car. Andrew saw her and I saw him. He used to have a wandering eye in those days. Coincidence, I guess. So Sammy was playing the cripple for Carol? Yes, and she fell for it. She helped him across the grounds. Huh? It's this uh, war wound that acts up. You seemed all right before. I know, but it just happened. That's too bad. Which war? Oh, I can't remember. Come on, let's walk. It'll come to me. Come on. Anyway, later Sammy and Carol came in. Their clothes were soaked to the skin. They'd fallen into the swimming pool, wheelchair and all. Inside, I'll get something from America for you. Don't bother, I'm fine. Hi. What happened? Well, uh, you see, we kind of lost control of the wheelchair. Well, if you're going to come to dinner with us, you better change. Soon. Well... Hello. Why don't you get them some towels? Is he coming? Sam, there's someone I'd like you to meet. He's a producer. I think he could be helpful. Can I catch up with you later? Like after dinner? Sure. You, um, haven't introduced your friend. Oh, this is, uh... Carol. I'm Andrew. This is my wife, Erica. Andrew wanted to take everyone to dinner and introduce Sammy to a film producer he knew. Sammy begged off. He and Carol had other plans. I bet.
Dennis Spade. And, uh, 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 Christina. <laughs> this is Carol. And Sam. Sit down. Uh, Scotch and water. Hey, are you in the wheelchair this afternoon? That dress looks very well. Thank you. It's a little long. I hope you don't mind my wearing it. Of course not. Where's your turning? All right, let's finish our dance. Carol? Thank you. she went to bed before any of us. She slept in our bed. Andrew refused to wake her. Wake her up? She's asleep. I heard you. Now stop it. There's no shortage of room. We can sleep downstairs. Now what's the big deal? You tell me. Uh, I'll get her up. Hold it. Look, I don't mind. No, that's not the point. Now for tonight we can sleep downstairs, can't we? Of course. Good night. Good night. In retrospect, I was acting like an irate teenager. Andrew was terribly insensitive to my feelings. Anyway, the next day the four of us went on a trip on our neighbor's boat for a cruise. It all started out as fun. I was trying to start the day fresh and forget Carol. locked in a stateroom with Carol. Everywhere I turned, I found Carol. Sammy tried to help, but he couldn't reach me. I wouldn't let him. Sick. Sick. Get 
to that. Isn't that enough of it? I don't know what I'm doing. Never mind. Hey, what's with you? returned to shore. Sammy came with me. He tried to help. I'll never forget him for that. The next day we came home. He went to work that night. I never saw him again. That's the story, Mr. Nicoletti. I feel sorry for all of us. Sammy was a wonderful man and a talent. Well, I'm going to find out just how talented he was. He left me a box of his old films. Really? May I see them? Why? Perhaps I may be able to do something with them commercially, I mean. I'll tell you what. They may be nothing, but when I get around to seeing them, if there's something there, I'll give you a call. Try to look to the future. It's what helped me in my difficult times. I can't do that just yet. What's on your mind? Sammy's killer. The police said it was robbery. Sammy stumbled in on an everyday robbery and was killed. That's not the way I got it. But whatever. I'll find out the truth for myself. So, you're going to spend the rest of your life tracking down a nameless killer, blood for blood. It's an old Italian tradition. These are modern times, Mr. Nicoletti. No, they're not. The whole world understands revenge. Only in romantic novels, not in real life. Maybe so, maybe so. Anyway, I want to thank you, Mrs. Moore. You've been a very nice lady to me for taking your time out to tell me about my brother. Maybe I'll see you again. Goodbye. we stop here for? I had to see a woman who knew Sammy. Did she give you any leads? I don't know. She told me that her ex-husband got married to a girl that Sammy was romancing. No kidding. Yeah. Makes you kind of wonder, don't it? Hey, look, Vito, you know, this has been a long day. The cemetery, Father Testa, now this woman. What do you say we go back to the house, rest up for a while, you get something to eat, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, Joey. But I got to get my own place tomorrow. I got too many things on my mind. I gotta be alone. Whatever you say, Vito. Vito. Come in, Joey. Everything copacetic? How are those clothes fit you? Clothes fit fine. Hey, look what I found in the kitchen. 
some coffee, salami, pane, and some cold beer. Can I have a little picnic, huh? Yeah, why not? Mind you. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it from the garage. Let's have it. Are you sure about this, Vito? Come on, let's have it. Vito, you know, we got to get you back in step with the world. There's some nice uh, warehouse jobs opening up at the meatpacking plant. Now, the money is good, and in a couple of months, I know things are going to look up for you. Look, Joey, I love you like family, but I got to do things at my own pace. First thing I got to do tomorrow is get back to that cemetery and see if that girl shows up at Sammy's grave. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll drop you off. But then after that, we'll take a ride by the plant, okay? Yeah, we'll see. just asked you if Sammy Nicoletti was a friend of yours. Hey, look, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Hey, get your paws off, man. Hey, now, wait a minute. Hey, look. All right, look. Come any closer, and I'm going to cut you deep. Just take it nice and slow, will you? All I want to do is have a little conversation with mm -hmm, you. Yeah, I bet. Some kind of weirdo creep. <laughs> Now look, before you start going crazy and pulling out knives, I want to tell you I'm Sammy's brother. Sammy's brother? I didn't know Sammy had a brother. Well, he does, and I'm him. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because you didn't give me a chance. You just drove away. How did you find me here? I got friends. Well, what do you want? Well, for openers, I want to know what your relationship with him was. We was just friends. Just friends? You mean to tell me you go to a guy's grave for ten years and you're just friends? Yeah, something like that. You're a bad liar, baby. It's written all over your face like egg. You were romancing Sammy, right? Yeah, we were seeing each other. Hey, my math ain't so good, but you look to me to be a young girl. Ten years ago would have made you, what, 12, 13, maybe? Yeah. How'd you meet my brother, anyway? I was in his porno flicks. What'd you say? You didn't know about Sammy's porno flicks? Well, look, I was young, and uh, Sammy was the nicest person I knew. He didn't want me in those movies, but, well, I didn't have any other way of getting money, so I made Sammy use me. You were so tight with him, how come you weren't with him that last weekend before his death? Well, it was just fancy people, you know, important people. I mean, Sammy would have taken me with him, but I just figured I shouldn't interfere. Now, that's it on the questions. Hey, look, could you do me a favor, please? What? I ain't got no place to stay, and I need to find a motel room somewhere. Can you give me a lift? Okay. Sign says vacant. Well, 
Thanks for the lift and the liquor stop, Vivian Buck. You know, I like your name, Vivian Buck. Sammy liked it, too. He gave it to me. Well, see you around. I liked you. You like me? Why you ask me that? I don't know. It's just a throwaway question. Well, I could. Okay, then I'll see you around. Well, how about breakfast tomorrow? You got a date. I didn't know I had a fan club. I knocked, but you were in the shower. Next time I'll remember to latch the door. Let's skip the formalities, copper. You got a name? Benson. Lieutenant Benson, homicide. I'm impressed. Word is you're looking around for Sammy's killer. Well, I'm here to tell you, go easy. Don't go causing any trouble. You got a mean dago tempered, Nicoletti. And I wouldn't want it hurting any innocent taxpayers. Follow? I ain't dumb. That's what you say. I can't stop you from poking around. But if you find something, be a real good boy and call me. You don't. I'll take it personal. Follow? Like a tail light. Is that it? Yeah, for now. Just don't forget. How can I forget when you keep reminding me not to forget? Let me talk to Dominic. Hello, Dom? Vito Nicoletti. Yeah, I just got out yesterday. I'll tell you all about it when I see you. Look, Dom, I need a favor. The address of a guy named Andrew Moore. Right, the guy who's running for governor. Yeah, you can get back to me at this number. 7617168. Thanks, Dom. and went to Geneva and paid more than $8 million for the diamonds.
Dress. You give me a lift. Sorry, though, when he didn't say. Anything. I'll be back in about ten minutes. Vito Nicoletti to see Andrew Moore. Follow me, please. Nicoletti to see you, sir. Oh, won't you sit down, Mr. Nicoletti? Thank you. I'm Andrew Moore. I was expecting you. How's that? Eric rang me up and said you were looking to meet Sammy's friends. I naturally assumed you would pay us a visit. Uh, Paul, would you bring some iced tea, please? Sure. Now, what can I do for you? I just wanted to ask you what your connection with my brother was. Sammy was a very promising young film director. Yeah, I know. He made porno films. Oh, really? Well, when I first met him, I was a financial broker. 
And I had clients who wanted to take high risk, fun investments. A young attorney I knew introduced me to this promising young film director who was just beginning his career in the business and was looking for capital investment. That director was Sammy. We met, became friends, and I was impressed with him and his talent, so I invested in several of his projects. They made money, and Sammy was making his living in the business. He loved making films, couldn't leave it alone. I remember the night I called him to invite him for that last afternoon. He was in the editing room working late. Wasn't that the place he was murdered? Yes. Tragic, really. He was so enthusiastic about the weekend, I could tell it in his voice. Had I known it was to be his last, I would have tried to make a better time of it for him. I don't follow. Oh, Erica and myself, we were having troubles, and... Well, I knew I was going to have to watch myself. Well, what did that have to do with my brother? We drove up the following morning, Erica, Sam, and myself. I remember I had a new Cadillac convertible and was really getting the feel of it. Eric and Sam were enjoying their conversation. Philosophy. I was bored with it. Celine? There's nothing frightful in us and on earth and perhaps in heaven above except what has not been said once and for all time. Celine. at the house that afternoon to discover our neighbors had arranged a surprise party. It's away from the pool, so it's generally quiet. It's fine. If you don't like it, there are others. It's fine. Are there any girls out there? I hope so. Anyway, they're all over town. I know, but I'm here. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh, would you shut the door? Excuse me, Bob. Any time. Where's Sam? I don't know, in the house, I guess. Did you ask him to come out? Well. Sam! The next day, one of our neighbors, Mitch, invited us for an afternoon cruise. Sam seemed to be having a good time. I just hope I do. I think we all will. More people than I planned for as usual. Hey, you do come on, let's have a drink. Good. Well, the next afternoon we came home. Sammy left for work and that was the last we saw of him. Eric and I were in shock for weeks. Such a senseless killing. The whole affair is so, so very tragic. Please accept my condolences, Mr. Nicoletti. Thank you. I understand we have a guest, Andrew. Yes, we do. Mr. Nicoletti, this is my wife, Carol. How do you do? 
I understand that you were Sammy's girlfriend the weekend before his death. That's right. That's when Sammy and I met. He was a lot of fun. I'm sorry. The odd turns of fate, Vito. I met Carol because of Sammy. I suppose one could say every dark cloud has a silver lining. We were married a year and a half later. Well, I guess belated congratulations are in order. I'm just very, very sorry for you, Mr. Nicoletti. Well, for all of us, we all loved Sammy very much. Well, you've been very kind, and I'm sorry to have barged in on you. No, 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 that's quite understandable. Now, if there's nothing more, Vito, I'd like to get back to my nap. Yeah, by all means, get back to your nap. If there's anything else I need, I'll let you know. What else could there be, Mr. Nicoletti? Answers, Mr. Moore. Answers. Mrs. Moore? I wonder how much he knows. Well, we'll just have to find that film. Ready, baby? This day is full of surprises. You're disappointed. I don't know yet. All I know is I got a headache. Why don't you take an aspirin? I would, but I don't have any. Here. Try one of those. French. It'll get rid of your headache. I take them when I get my monthly pains. I get them bad. You'll feel better soon. You know what I like? Mayonnaise and peanut butter sandwiches. I know some people who get off on chocolate pudding. It's been 12 years since I had a mayonnaise and peanut butter sandwich. Now that's what I call cruel and unusual punishment. At least it's unusual. Tell me, what does a man do for 12 years behind bars? He does a lot of thinking. Is that why you came here? That was the question I was going to ask you. I've heard uh, all kinds of things about what cooped up men do in prison. Does that turn you on? You gay. Sure. But I'll show you what kind of guy I am. I'm going to make it with you anyway. Okay. I like a party. The door locked. Forget the door. I like a woman that gets to the point. You've forgotten how to do it. I'm betting on you to remind me. Hey. I can take my own pants off. Vito. Some broad I was with slipped me a Mickey. Never mind. Listen, that package I left with you, it's got the name and address of a film lab on it. Can you get it for me? One, 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 two, three, two, Santa Monica Boulevard. Listen, can you meet me there in 45 minutes? No, I'll grab a cab. It's quicker. Right up, 
time, Joey. Want me to hang around? No, if you go home, take care of business. I'll grab a cab. You know, call if you need me. I got this old film. I want to take a look at it. You want to book a screening? I don't know. If that's the only way I get to look at it, then that's what I want to do. Let me take a look at it. It's yours? It's my brother's. Why? Pretty sticky stuff, porno. Is that a problem? Nah, not anymore. But the film looks like it's been to hell and back. The sprockets are all ripped. Needs a lot of work. Well, just do the best you can. Name? Nicoletti. Look, this stuff's got your company's name on it. Does that mean the original work on it was done here? Not necessarily. Everybody's always changing boxes of bill cans, you know? Look, I mean, if you really want to find out, why don't you go in the office and ask Marge to check the records? Thanks. Don't mention it. Marge was very helpful. She dug in the files until she found Nicoletti. In there, I found copies of paper documenting all of Sammy's work. It covered a few years. Toward the end of the stack, I found a couple of interesting things. An invoice made out to Sammy said he dropped off some negatives for processing and printing two days before he went on that weekend, ten years ago. Attached to that invoice was a paid receipt for the processed film and negatives. It was signed in what appeared to be Sammy's signature. Everything seemed nice and neat, except for one thing. It was dated two days after Sammy's death. How soon can I see this stuff? Well, I'll be ready in a couple of days. I need it quicker than that. Uh, well, I think we can have it ready for you by this afternoon. What's new? I hear you're moving around, seeing people. So what's the big deal? It's a free country. Depends, Vito. On just how far you're gonna push this Sammy thing. I'm telling you, leave it alone. Believe me, Lieutenant, it's the furthest thing from my mind. Don't play me the fool, Vito. You've got that devious Dago brain of yours looking around for every angle. Is that it? All right, smart guy. Play it your way. But you crossed the line. And I'll have your guinea ass right back in the slammer. Got it? Thank you. I want my money back. How so? Those headache pills you gave me didn't work. It was your friend. Get in, darling. I want you to drive. I'd love to, but I don't have a license. Don't worry. I know all the police in town. I bet you do. Where to? You should see the view. minutes. See what desperation does to you? You want to tell me why you brought me here? The film I wanted. Film? What film? The one you told Erica you had. Oh, that film. You got it all wrong, baby. Sammy left that film to me. Everybody wants that film. I guess I gotta see what's on it for myself. 
I tell you why, will you give it to me? Scott's on her. You're lying. You mean you don't trust a boy, Scott? An ex-con. You could be a murderer. You're crazy. Get out. I don't figure. Your husband's practically a shoo for governor and you go seducing me, ransack my room, and now you kidnap me for a few lousy rolls of porno film. Porno film. That's it, ain't it? Sammy must have had you and Eric on film. That must have been some weekend. You wind up with Andrew and Erica winds up with a big alimony and a successful business and everybody's happy. You killed my brother because he wouldn't give you that film. You knew that Andrew wouldn't marry you if he knew you did a skin flick. You'd be a liability as a wife. You're wrong. Maybe you and Erica killed him. After all, she had a lot to lose, too. Career would be at stake if she had a scandal like that against her. You're only part right. Andrew and I were together before that weekend. We just put on a little show for the social register. But we made a mistake. What mistake was that? At the gas station, on the way to the party, Andrew stopped for cigarettes. I was there, too. Erica saw me, but she never put it together. We played Erica for the loyal wife, and she fell for it. Andrew had promised to marry me after he divorced Erica. But Sammy's blackmail got in the way. Andrew had to stall the divorce, but I was impatient. I was on to a good thing. I was to seduce Sammy away from his blackmail, and with luck, get my hands on that film. This place reminds me of a scene in a French movie I saw once. It really knocked me out. The first one was letting Erica see Sammy and me together in the locked cabin. You getting up? I'm happy where I am. drive Erica crazy. And it did. I couldn't help myself. Erica was hurt deeply. The second mistake was more unforgivable. When Erica was transferred to the passing boat, I thought Sammy would be sick. I had to move fast to get that film. I need that film. Are you going to give it to me? I guess I don't have much of a choice. We gotta go back into the city to get it.
Mr. What is it, Mr. I want to know who killed Sammy. Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy. You know Carol knew. She's lying. That bitch is dead. She wanted the film, the film you told her about. I want to know who killed my brother. That film ready for me to see? Well, no miracles, Mr. Nicoletti, but you can take a look. Screening room three down the end of the hall. Just sit down and Harry roll the film. When do they start this thing? You have to push a button.
no one left to help you more. No one. You're making a mistake. You made the only mistake when you killed my brother to get that skin flick. I thought Erica and Carol were the only freaks. One was a blackmailer. The other one a greedy slut. Vito, I'll, I'll give you money. A anything. Name your price. How much is it worth to you, more? Keep the public from knowing that you're a murderer and a fag. Whatever you want, Vito. Whatever you want. You didn't have enough money. Nobody will know us there. You just gotta hang on just a couple of hours. 